Hi, Cody. Ah, oh, who are you? What do you want? Settle down. It's me, Jody. Jody? Jody who? Your sister. And I'm over here, Cody. Yeah, yeah, I'm just messing with you. So why are you blindfolded? I'm trying to walk by faith. What does that have to do with a blindfold? Well, I remember that it says in the Bible that Christians are to walk by faith and not by sight. So I figured I'd try it out. I don't think that's what it means. Why not? Well, does Pastor Smith have faith? Of course he does. Is he wearing a blindfold? I don't know. I can't see anything. I can't see him. Oh, well. Have you ever seen him wearing a blindfold? No, I guess not. It's not what that means. But Jody, I'm confused. If that's not what the verse meant, then how can I walk by faith? Well, let's see if we can figure that out. Okay. In Hebrews 11, 1, Paul said that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I don't get it. Hey, stop that. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, um, all right. Let's say mom and dad tell you that they're going to buy you a new toy. Are you going to get that toy? Of course I am. How do you know that? Because they promised that they would buy it for me. Then you had faith in mom and dad's promise. Oh, I see. But what does that have to do with walking by faith? Well, when Paul wrote that we should walk by faith, he meant that even though we situations sometimes seem impossible, we don't have to worry because God has promised us that he would bring us through. So we can walk by faith in God and not just by what we see. Right? Now I can't see a thing. For the love of Pete, take that thing off. Oh, help me. Ow! And who's Pete? Never mind. So no matter how impossible something may seem, I can have faith that God is able to do it and he will. Yes, Cody, you don't need a blindfold to walk by faith. You just have to trust God. That sounds a lot easier. Um, Jody, can you do me a little favor? What's that? Put Mom's scarf away before she realizes it's missing. Oh, I should tell Mom. Tattletale. Hmm. I'm going to tell her for sure now. Wait, Jody. I have something to tell you. I'll put the top, put the scarf away myself. Jody, Jody, stop. Hi, kids. Did I just see Cody and Jody run out of here? I did. What were. What were they talking about? Oh, they were talking about walking by faith. And that is our fruit of the spirit for this month. Faith. So what is faith? Well, we could say it has two parts to it. Believing and trusting. 
So what do we need to believe and what do we need to trust in? Okay, so what we need to believe is that Jesus is God and that Jesus came to earth with a purpose that he was going to die on the cross for us so that he could take the punishment for our sin so that he could forgive us and give us eternal life and we have to believe that he came back to life on the third day so what do we need to trust in well we need to trust in jesus that he will do what he said he would do that he will keep his promises and one thing he promised to us is that if we believe that he would give us eternal life he would forgive all of our sin but you have to make the choice that you're going to trust in him and then like cody and jody were talking about we can walk by faith by trusting him every day of our life no matter what the circumstances are around us no matter what we can see how impossible it looks we can trust in we can trust in god that's what faith is about now i'm going to show you our memory verse which is right here and this comes from our story this month our bible lesson so let's read it together starting with the reference down here john 20 29 jesus saith unto him thomas because thou hast seen me thou hast believed Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. John 20, 29. Now that verse comes right out of our lesson for this month. And this is the most important lesson in the Bible. It is. From the very beginning of the Bible to the very end of the Bible. Everything in the Bible points to this one lesson that I'm going to teach you this month. And I'm going to start the story next week. It'll take me two weeks to tell it. But next week I'll start, start the most important story, the most important lesson in the Bible. Okay? I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.